Hey everyone, Original Conga back with uh, the penultimate part of Freddy Fish 4, Wild West Underwater. Ooh, that's a big word. What? B big word, penultimate. Yeah, yeah it, it, like, have you never heard of penultimate boss? Like, like... Yeah, no, I know what penultimate means, but we're getting all fancy and shit in here. Yeah, um... I find it... I Five find Nights it at Freddy's 1 through 4... Is on Xbox uh, Game Pass. That's crazy. Uh, you mean like you can buy them, you can play them for free? Yeah, on the Xbox Game Pass. One through four, right here. I was thinking about like. I don't know. I was going to get into a it's discussion this. about DRM or something, but I don't know enough about it to like actually make that funny and entertaining and shit. Yeah, same here, so. Indeed. I just I, I just know that like it's a damn shame that if you mod your PS3 in any way, even just replacing the fans and shit, Sony will break your console. If they catch you doing that. Dickheads. Nintendo used to Nintendo I think used to say may break your console and I don't know if they still do that yeah. now or if it was like the opposite where they said will and now they say may. But, like if you read your terms of service they're like it's kinda sad. <laughs> it's not just boring, it's sad. Very sad. Uh, I got Undertale on here too, by the way. I love me some Undertale. Oh, on Xbox, yeah, I heard about that. Uh, there's an exclusive mode in there, and it made me consider buying like an Xbox One. And I mean, also, you don't even need to buy an Xbox One because technically, it's uh, you can. It, it's um, you just need the Xbox Game Pass uh, membership thing or whatever. Oh, that might be awesome. I need to do that. Um, I don't know how the gambling in that game works though. So, like, how how does it work? How do you... How's the game work with a controller? No, I said how does the gambling? Gambling. I thought that's the exclusive mode in uh, Undertale was oh. that you go to a casino area oh, and maybe. Sans like tells you some unique dialogue or something and you bet on shit. Oh, maybe. I, I don't know. And that's why I'm it's T for Teen instead of E10 like the other versions of Undertale. Like, the gambling pushed it over the edge. Well, I didn't even know it was... I didn't even know the other ones were E10 or this one was T. I, I didn't know I any did, of that. I, Undertale is, like, fucking weird because, like, the genocide route is clearly, like, T for Teen, but so much of the rest of the game is, like, E for everyone almost. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking here. Undertale rated T for fantasy violence, mild blood, use of tobacco, like, and simulated gambling. Like, aside from burger burger pants using a cigar and shit and some shit like that, it's, like, very clearly, like, the True Pacifist run is very clearly a kid's game for the most part. And then, like, you have shit like Sans saying damn and, like, the blood and shit. And also the fact that you're <laughs> killing people. In, like, okay, I, I gotta tell you. What? I, I got to tell you this, okay? Um, on on here with Undertale, the very first recommended uh, game, like you know, if you like this, you might also like it's Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. Get fucked! <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> Go fuck yourself, pal. You you should not have shared that with me. Top top review for 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 uh, the Pizza Simulator here is surprisingly okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's the top review. <laughs> That's how I felt about like Sonic 06 when I played it. Like, <laughs> That's right, like, right? <laughs> I'm like, this isn't the worst game ever. I'm impressed. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, they also have sister location. Actually, it's funny because you actually like that game. <laughs> No I do, I do like Sonic 06. No, I say no one else does, but there is a strong, like, support for it or something. Like, there are people who like the story. <laughs> there is. It. Yeah, there's a lot of people right now that are kind of pushing back against the, uh, against its reputation. Unfortunately, they're often being kind of, you know... Dickheads about assholes it? Assholes about it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they're not exactly going about it the best way. Yeah, and it's... Like... Which, so it meant that before it was like if I if I told someone oh hey I like Sonic 06 they're like well that's weird but I respect your opinion but that's really weird man have you ever played it uh, now it's oh I like Sonic 06 oh you're one of them yeah it's not no. good, apparently but uh fuck 
Um, I was gonna talk about like Sonic Discourse here because I I doubt we're gonna talk about the game because I forgot to turn on the audio for me. I know you're not gonna be able to hear what's being said, but um, I was gonna say like I watched a debate. It was like a live stream. It was like a live stream debate. I think they were planning on doing an hour and a half, and they did three hours, and it's like Cyber Shell versus LS Mark. LS Mark is like this YouTuber who makes like. Yeah, I know who he is. Okay, he makes like these blazing hot takes, and he said Sonic Heroes is. Well, not all of his yeah, videos I've, I've... are blazing hot takes, but you get the idea. It's like. No, I've I've watched quite a few of his videos. I like his. I've never watched any Cyber Shell videos, but. Uh. I know who he is. I, I, I don't know whether videos. I don't know whether or not to recommend it to you because like. No, I don't hates Sonic think I want like it. Yeah. Well, I mean, among other things, I I've seen I've heard enough about him to to. Kind of. Well, actually, I actually like, you know what? I don't his think content to uh, LS Mark. That's probably because I've been watching his newer videos as opposed to his older videos. Because, like, the videos he made, like, like even just a few years ago before he disappeared, he keeps disappearing. That one time he disappeared for eight years and came back like nothing happened. But um, yeah, usually he'll happens. like, yeah, like, but I mean like eight years. It was like a full eight years. Anyway, well, sometimes um, you oversleep. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, Cybershell and Ellis Mark had this debate on SA2 or Sonic Heroes with Ellis Mark favoring heroes. And, you know, they agree on almost every other game, but, like, for some reason they're opposite about that. And Cybershell, like, did such a fucking good job. I wanted, I was nostalgic for SA2 because he was doing such a fucking amazing job and thorough and everything. And then, like, Ellis Mark is just like, dude, shut up. And he's talking over him. And he, he, he made, like, four good points. And, like, one of them. One of them was actually about Sonic Heroes as opposed to, like, SA2 is bad and shit. Mm. Like, it was, it was kind of... Like, I'm not going to pretend his... I'm, I'm not going to say his argument is, like, objectively wrong. I just feel like he could have debated better because it was like... They did no planning in it. Somehow, Cybershell just absolutely dominated the whole live stream. I mean, that happens a lot, you know. I mean, like, like I understand it's harder to, like these playthroughs are like low effort and shit, so it's not the same thing as if I did a full review unscripted and shit. But like, it's actually hard to improvise like a video like that, and it's and the debate and all that shit. I, I oh yeah, no debates can be very hard. It takes a very special kind of uh, personality and uh, skill level to truly do well in a debate. Uh, I think, I think Cybershell has that down pat. <laughs> that yeah. fucking video. But I, I, I watched it like the other day, and this wasn't recorded months ago. It took me a long time to actually sit down and watch it because I'm like, oh, it's a three-hour live stream, and I didn't watch it live, so it's gonna be like less fun or whatever than if I watched it live. But anyway, um, it was really good, and I watched it at like 2 a.m. and I went to bed at 5 a.m. because of it. As you do. Uh, as I do. Um, I'm actually planning to play, like, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle again. And I, I do the GameCube port specifically because of, like, you know, um, uh, what, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, because uh, of the Chow Garden. It's, like, a superior Chow Garden, and that's, like, the main reason to replay it is the Chow Garden. So I'm like, fuck it, I'll do the GameCube port. Now, with SA1, I'm like, I do like the GameCube port just to spite the people who were like, oh, the graphics in the DX port, like, killed my dog and shit. And they were like, they killed everyone I love. And I'm like, dude, calm the fuck down. It's like a game from 1999. Like, the graphics yeah, aren't going to be I good really anyway. Don't get the, I really don't get the massive amount of backlash suddenly that Adventure and Adventure 2 have gotten. Well, I, I kind of understand it hasn't, like... Especially the, the story and the cutscenes no, and shit hasn't aged well, but anyway. No, nothing has aged well from the 90s. Like, seriously. No game for... Like, I love Mario 64. I love it to death. I will admit, though, it has not aged well. No, nothing I, from the 90s has aged well. What about... Well, there are a lot of uh, games that aged well. Nothing from the... 3D games from the 90s is what I mean. Okay, I was about to say, Sonic 3 Knuckles has held up surprisingly well. Yeah, like, no, I met, I met 3D games from the 90s have not aged well. And I think there are, like, some songs that would, like, probably be good now, even if they were from the 90s, like... 
What was it? I, I think uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia got a sequel called Devil Comes Back to Georgia in the 90s. I can't remember if it was the 90s, but like it had Johnny Cash and of course it had Johnny Cash's golden voice as the narrator and it was like really good. But, like, that is the weirdest information you've ever given me. <laughs> That's the weirdest information I've ever given you? I, I think so, yeah. That, I don't know, that just... What, the fact that okay, then. My, my Alexa device is talking to me, but, like, for real, like, it's a really good song, the sequel to Devil Went Down to Georgia. It's like, I, I looked it up, and I'm like, oh, there's no way this holds up, and it did hold up, because it's, like, pretty good, in my opinion. I, I did not realize that there was, like, a Devil Went Down to Georgia cinematic universe. <laughs> I I think it's just like I I think it's just like they they did so many fucking like it's so much more popular than the band itself that like they had to do a sequel eventually almost um because like they do have other songs I listened to a CD of theirs but like the Charlie Daniels band but I don't know um so we're approaching the end of this fucking part um oh yeah there's a game playing isn't it. Yeah, um, here we, here we are fish, again. Fish testicles. Oh my god, dude. Um, Wait, do fish have testicles? I, I don't know, but, like, they do have sperm. We need to find out. No, I know they have sperm, because, like, they, they reproduce yep. sexually. Magic school bus taught me that. <laughs> fish sperm and magic school bus. Oh, I gotta send you something. Okay, we should stop this. Big McThinkies from McSpankies.